The story of the 1974 Mesquite Skeeters began in 1973. The off season before our junior year was brutal. It was brutal. I know for me, I was almost, got sick almost every day from running so much. Head coach Tom Gray worked us so hard because he knew how good we could be. Coach Gray, when he was uh, recruiting me, you know, he said, Bucky, uh, I want you to know that this team is special. We're gonna go a long ways with this team. All these kids meant a lot to Tom. He was very close to him. Mesquite hadn't gone a long way in a long time, not since a district championship in 1941 when Stan Singleton's dad was playing. 46 right here. He would rag on and say, you know, that they were the last ones to win the district. And I said, well, <laughs> I'm gonna catch you. <laughs> but we kind of got on the roll after that. We went through the regular season with eight wins, no losses, and two ties to win the district championship. James here used to wear this goofy hat. One of the memorable moments from that season was burning James Fincher's hat. Everybody hated the hat but him. He loved it. He was sorely missed. James was just an outstanding character. You know, he's part of the heart of that team. In the second round of the playoffs, we played Wichita Falls Rider at Old Skeeter Stadium. It was cold here that night. And they had so many heaters going around, they think that's probably what blew the circuit. The lights went out for about 20 or 30 minutes, so it delayed the game. Of course, that aggravated uh, Wichita Falls folks because they kind of felt like they were sabotaged or something. In the state semifinals, we had an even more bizarre game, the Fog Bowl. We played Dallas Carter for the semifinals in the Cotton Bowl. I mean, you could stand on our side and you could you look over to see where Carter was, and you couldn't see him. I actually talked about bringing in a helicopter to try to blow it out, but they, the helicopters were even grounded in Dallas. Tom said he told the kids, we're going to run when we run, and we have the ball, we're going to run on my side of the field, so I'd kind of see what's going on. So we sat through the whole game and didn't see any of it. The town really got behind us. Everywhere you went, people were getting on the Mesquite bandwagon. The Texas Power and Light were putting up banners on the power <laughs> lights. It had a tremendous effect on the uh, morale of the student body. It brought the school together. I could go in places and people would call my name. I, I didn't know these people from Adam, but they're calling my name and also you kind of became a celebrity. Talking about all he wanted for Christmas was a state championship. And that would have been great, but things don't always work out like you planned. We lost that 1974 championship game. I went on to play a little college football, a little bit of pro football, led the nation in total offense in 1978. But the friendships that I developed on Skeeter Field right here behind me in 1974 is still what's on the front of my plate today. I love those guys with all my heart. I miss the ones that are gone. I know they're seeing us today. It's all good. Skeeter pride. Love it, baby. I'm so proud of all the people I played with and all the guys. Uh, I love them all so much. Mesquite was a different community back then than what it is now. It was a, uh, you played for your school, you know, your town, your community, and uh, so it made things really, really special.